Hi students, problem number 8. A train overtakes two persons who are walking in the same direction in which the train is going at the rate of 2 km per hour and 4 km per hour and passes them completely in 9 seconds and 10 seconds respectively. The length of the train has to be determined. This is once again a very brilliant uh, numerical problem asked in many competitive exams like the common admission test and the interviews in IT sectors. So we have to read the problem and again and again. So first of all what is given? The train is travelling uh, in the same direction uh, in which two persons are travelling. Okay. So it overtakes the first person in 9 seconds and it overtakes the second person in 10 seconds. So the individual speed of the two persons are given. We have to find the length of the train. So for this, uh, let us assume first uh, L be the length of the train. Okay, the length of uh, the train is uh, L. And uh, let X be the actual speed. Okay, actual speed of the train. Now, for the first person, okay, for person 1, I want to frame one equation. So, the time taken T1 is equal to distance traveled divided by the relative speed, okay, the relative speed is S or S1. The relative speed means what the speed of the train with respect to the first person who is traveling at 2 km per hour. So, this equation now becomes what T1. T1 is equal to 9 seconds. So left hand side becomes 9 seconds. And right hand side length of the train is equal to the distance travelled. So this is L divided by the relative speed of the train with respect to the first person is X minus 2 km per hour. Since left hand side is in seconds, this kilometer per hour also we can convert into meters per second. So 2 kilometer per hour into 5 by 18 will become meters per second. So this 2 and 18 get cancelled 9 times. So left hand side is 9, right hand side is L divided by X minus 5 by 9. So X minus 5 by 9. So this is equal to L divided by 9x minus 5, 9x minus 5, that the divided by 9 will come here on the left hand side. So 9 into, so this will become 9 into 9x minus 5 is equal to 9L. So cancelling this 9 on both sides, therefore 9x minus 5 is equal to L. This is our equation 1. You can express the equation in any form. Okay, I have expressed in the shortest form like this. Similarly, for the person 2, another equation we have to write for the second person who is traveling at a speed of 4 km per hour. So, here if I will write the T2, so T2 is equal to the distance traveled. Same only though, distance traveled is equal to the length of the train. So, I can write in both the cases that D1 is equal to D2 is equal to length of the train itself divided by the relative speed of the train with respect to the second person is uh, x minus 4 into 5 by 18 meter per second. So this is uh, 5 fourths are 20 by 18 or 10 by 9. So the time taken by the train to cross the second person is 10 seconds. So 10 must be equal to L divided by x minus 10 by 9. So 10 by 9 or this is equal to LCM is 9. So it is 9x L divided by 9x minus 10. Whole divided by 9 will appear on the numerator. So this time 10 multiplied by 9x 9x minus 10. So 10 multiplied by 9x minus 10 is equal to 9 into L and this is equation 2. Now from the equation 1, what is L? L is equal to 9x minus 5, is it that? 
So I can substitute in the second equation for L is equal to 9x minus 5. So 10 into 9x minus 10 is equal to 9 into I can write uh, in place of L 9x minus 5. So this is 9x minus 5. Now you open up the brackets on both the sides. Uh, 10 into 9 is how much? Uh, 90x minus 10 into 10 is 100 is equal to 9 9s are 81x minus 9 5s are 45. So 90x minus 81x is equal to 100 minus 45 and that is equal to 55. So 90 minus 81 is 9. 9x is equal to 55 implies x is equal to 55 divided by 9. x is equal to 55 divided by 9 meters per second. So this is the actual speed of the train. But what is asked here, the length of the train L we have to determine. So from equation 1, what is L is equal to 9x minus 5. Okay. Therefore, now the length of the train can be determined by E substituting for x in equation 1. So, this is L is equal to 9x minus 5, 9x minus 5. So, this is equal to 9 multiplied by 55 by 9 minus 5. So, 9 and 9 get cancelled. So, L is equal to 55 minus 5 is equal to 50 meter. So, the length of the train has to be how much? 50 meter. So which of the options is correct? Option B. Therefore option B is the correct answer. So such problems uh, you have to work out similar problems. Already we have done one more problem in the previous uh, class. So still two or more uh, problems uh, if you solve like this only you will be an expert in this. So in any competitive exam uh, this will be Definitely expected. So prepare well. I hope you must have understood well. Fine.